Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads a boy stands at the end of the diving board, which is supported by two springs A and B, each having a stiffness of K equal to 15 kilonewtons per meter. In the position shown, the board is horizontal. If the boy has a mass of 40 kg, determine the angle of tilt, which the board makes with the horizontal after he jumps off. Neglect the weight of the board and assume it is rigid. This problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics Textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. Right, so we have this boy standing on this uh, diving board and we are assuming it is rigid. Okay, so it means when this point goes down like this, this other point is supposed to come up like that. Okay, something like that. Okay, it remains straight. That's the idea behind. Okay, but of course, in reality, we know that is not the case. But we are assuming now to say it is rigid, right? Uh, the weight of this boy the mass is 40 kg, converting it to uh, newtons. We need to multiply it or converting it to weight, rather, we we'll need to multiply it by the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8. One okay, so we have uh, the boy is 40 kg, right? Mm -hmm, he is so 40 by 9.81. We have uh, a 392.4 newtons. So this is the weight of the boy. So we expect to have a reaction force there. Um, okay, a y. And also there are AX, I mean B, B, Y. Right, so let's calculate what these are quickly. Uh, once we've done so, then I uh, will need to, uh, you know, to say when this uh, diving board goes down, okay, where the boy is standing, this point B will be pushed downwards, okay, the spring will be pushed downwards. While the spring at A will be pushed upward, right? There will be some kind of rotation at point B. Okay, right? Because this is an overhanging beam. Right. Um, so, let's uh, work out the problem. We find the reaction forces. So, we have summation of uh, moments about point. Okay, let's start with B. The point which is acting as some kind of a pivot. So let's show moving about point B equal to zero. What do we have? We have uh, we have uh, assumed a y in that direction upwards. So about B, this is uh, clockwise. So it will be minus a y by one, and then we have um, we have uh, the boy. Also minus uh, three ninety two point four by three equal to zero. Therefore, my ay is going to be equal to ay is equal to um, minus one one seven seven point two newtons. So it's minus. Therefore, it means what happens at A here, just a change of sign. And that's a sign that we expect, right? So here we are saying this is our AY. And our AY is equal to 1177.2 newtons. Okay. Sure. Uh, just seconds. Mm -hmm. 11772.2. So found that, let's find a by, so summation of forces in the y equal to zero, like so, see summation. Um, so we have, I'll take the uh, exact now. So we have minus a y, mind you, I've changed the sign, so I'm taking this one, don't get confused, uh, plus b y minus 392.4 uh, equal to 0. 
we've already calculated what uh, ay is is here so we can go directly to calculate what py is therefore py is going to be equal to uh, okay there we go um, 392.4 392.4 so by is going to be equal to 1569.6 right that's our by uh, which is a 1569. Six right. Um, we've calculated uh, the reaction forces at the uh, spring A and uh, spring B. So now, what we need to do is uh, to impose those particular forces on the respective uh, springs right we impose those respective um, uh, forces on the respective springs okay just one minute just checking something 1569 by 1 divided by 4 39 39 2.4 okay great Right, so, uh, so we are saying um, the reaction on spring, on this spring, uh, if you've seen the reaction like this, let me draw what is happening so that we just appreciate. Okay, there we go. So we have that point, we have this point, we have this point. So we have a force here of 392.4 then we have a reaction here of and then a reaction like this of 11772 here of 15696 okay so these are the reactions but we have these springs here okay we have these springs here uh, let me okay 392.4 so we have these springs here these springs are, are going to have so this spring here okay and this spring here so due to Newton's state law of motion you have a force in this direction you expect a force to be in the opposite direction going up there right and also here you have a force in that direction reaction on the beam you expect a force to be like that right on the spring okay but it's the same force so these are the same forces so we have spring a you have spring b all right so what we need to do now we need to calculate uh the the stretches as well as uh, uh how much compressed uh b is so in a we'll have a stretch in b we'll have a, uh, some kind of a contraction right so we know that friction force is governed by this particular equation k stiffness times s which is uh, either the stretch difference the stretch or the how much spring has been stretched or compressed okay so uh, we have f a in our case f a is equal to 1177.2 newtons and we have f b is equal to 1569.6 newtons so therefore and then we have our k k a is equal to k b which is just equal to k and is given as 15 i'll convert it to newtons 15,000 newtons per meter therefore our sa is going to be equal to 
SA is going to be equal to FA divided by uh, FA divided by KA or just K just K since K is the same so this is equal to 1177.2 divided by 15,000 so let's see what we get 1177.2 point two, point two mm -hmm, divided by 15,000 all right so we have a zero i'll not round off this one 0 0.078 uh 48 okay let me resolve it again 11 11 one one seven seven point two divided by fifteen thousand okay seven four eight seven seven eight four eight then we have sb this is going to be equal to fb divided by k this is equal to what is FP? FP is a 1569.6. Mm -hmm. 1569.6 divided by 15,000. This is giving us, these are in meters. This is in meters. Okay. So 1569.6 divided by 15,000. So this gives us a 0 0.10464 meters right is that so one zero four six four meters okay so let me rub this so that i have some space so we have uh we have uh, the different so at this point here the spring will tend to move by Let's say this one is, uh, I'll show it here. This is how much stretch the spring will go. And then, okay, let me just redraw another one. Since we have some data below. All right, I'll go there like this, like that. Okay, so this point is A, so I will have something like that. Then at B, B, I'll have uh, somewhere up to there like that. So we are saying this stretch here, this one is 0 point, uh, 0 point 0.07848. And then this one here is, it has been compressed by 0 0.10464. Right. So we expect, we expect, let me write down this so that I rub everything. SA equal to 0 0.07848 meters. SB equal to 0 0.10464 uh, meters. Right. So with this information, we can draw, uh, this is how the beam this is how the angle changes all right so this is i've just exaggerated this it's not going to be like this are very very small i've exaggerated this okay right so this is what we have this is what we have so therefore we need to calculate this angle we need this angle sorry we need this angle okay so how can we calculate this angle uh, there are a lot of uh, ways so what i need to do is i'll calculate it over and then this distance from here to here we've been given it is just one okay so i'll use that one so i'll say let me extend this line like so you know let me use okay so i want to get this difference now here from here the difference in y okay okay so this difference is going to be equal to sa plus this one is going to be equal to sa plus sb which is equal to 
Uh, let's add them together. We have them already here. So we have 10464 plus 0.078 uh, right. So this gives us a 0 0.18 312 okay so so therefore getting this angle here okay getting this angle here so it means we have a new triangle quickly i just redraw it okay so we have something like this from there to there is uh, 1 meter and then from there to there this one is 0 0.181 0 0.18312 meters we want to find this angle okay so what we do is just theta is equal to tan inverse of change in y okay change in y divided by change in x which is just equal to uh, we have a zero point uh, one eight three one two right eighteen three four divided by one okay therefore the angle is going to be equal to the stand inverse of the same thing so it gives us a ten point three eight degrees right is that so? One eight three twelve turn inverse of that ten point three eight. Okay, so that's the angle. Okay, ten point three eight degrees. And I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, and bye bye. See you in my next uh, screencast.